Hello and welcome to this series about how you can treat trichotillomania, hair pulling or and or skin picking disorder. A lot of people have both. So if you have both, you both pick, pick your skin until you get problems with scars and bleeding or you pick your hair, you pull your hair until you get bald spots and, and it becomes a problem. This can be the treatment for you. These two disorders are up to 3% of the population. That means in almost every classroom there will be one person with the problem. The problem with both hair pulling and skin picking is that you feel extremely crazy for doing it. Especially people who eat the scabs that they pick uh, or eat the hairs. Actually eating hair can be very dangerous so if you do that you should go to a doctor and get your stomach checked. Uh, eating uh, scabs from your skin is not so dangerous but it feels very strange that you do it. And some people they pick on their animals, on their pets and some pick on their their uh, spouses and children, some pull the hairs of their spouses and children and this makes people seem very strange in a way. People blame themselves for being totally crazy. They want to stop with this but it is very difficult to stop on your own. This is the typical kind of psychological problem that is difficult to stop on your own if you're really uh, deep into it. So this series is about how you can do that. First of all, it's important to know how, how uh, common it is. That it's like one person for every classroom, basically. In academic settings there are even more. When you sit and read for university and things like that, it's very easy to start picking your skin or pulling your hair more. Uh, there are not many treatments that work for this. In a way, medication is usually not effective. So, what you have to do is the psychological treatment that I'm going to talk about now. First of all, it's important to become aware of what you're doing. <clears throat> A lot of people, they pull their hair or pick their skin almost automatically. So, one of the ways of becoming aware is to write down on a piece of paper every part of the body that you either pull hair from or pick skin from. Write it down in the smallest detail. Then you can write down the situations where you pick or pull. This can be very good in the first step of the treatment where you're going to try to limit the situations, limit the triggers that makes you pull. Okay, so write down every situation that you pull in. For instance, a lot of people they pull in front of the mirror in the bathroom if the light is good. If the light is very low, they won't pull. So a mirror is often a trigger. A lot of people they pull or pick when they're sitting in a car, when they're bored. Uh, another trigger is stress. If you have a lot to do, if you have a lot of homework, if you have projects that have to be finished, you know that this is the time when you pull or pick. Other people do it in uh, low stimulus situations, that means for instance when you're sitting and watching videos, watching TV, uh, and <clears throat> especially if you sit on the side of the, of the couch so that you can lean your hand and pull or, or pull, pull or pick as we say. So, make a list over all the situations where you do this. Now, in the first session, that's all you're going to do. In addition to understanding the principle of what you're going to do with this, is that you're going to do two things. You're going to limit the triggers. See, I have a tendency to pick at everything myself. So it's a relatively normal behavior that all animals and all humans have. It's just that for some people it becomes too much. So, uh, oops, camera fell down here. 
Okay, so the thing that you're going to learn to do, and which is very simple, but when people do it, it really works well. That is to take your thumb and hold it inside your hand like this, whenever you feel the urge to pull or pick. Not very hard, but like, like a caring way of saying, I take care of myself by wrapping my fingers around my thumb. This is what we call habit reversal. Instead of picking or pulling, the moment you feel the urge, you're not going to try to resist. Your only mission is to hold your fingers like this for at least one minute or until the urge goes down. That's all. And of course you realize that if you do that, you will be able to... You, you, you can't pull or you can't pick as long as you hold your thumbs. So if every time you feel the urge, your only mission, you become single-minded in holding your finger like this and you do it as soon as you can so it becomes a reflex, you have very big chances of getting rid of this problem. Okay, that was the first lesson. So write down all the situations where you pick or pull. And whenever you feel the urge to pick or pull, try to learn to do this holding the thumb.